So here we are at uh, Performance Remap in Gloucester for the uh, Jeff Vice Cars Dino Day. As you can see, we've got a vast variety of gentlemen here who are waiting to see what sort of power their cars might be outputting as opposed to the manufacturer's claims. Unfortunately, there are various vehicles we're not able to discuss, including this one. Good morning, Mr. Hunter. Hello, how are we doing? All right, thank you, sir. I'm afraid we won't be discussing this, sir. We don't discuss diesels on this channel. We do not, sir, including this one. Can I just very quickly mention that it did beat an electrical vehicle in a race from John O'Groats to Land's End, and you should definitely watch that on my channel. Sir, I that have, is worth discussing I have watched diesel. all three videos what on you your think? channel. What did you think? I'm not able to talk about it, sir. We could talk about the, the, the absolutely awful sort of um, depreciation on that Porsche Taycan. That was shocking, which I, Which I, uh, I mean, we buy any cars a bit of a funny thing anyway, but it sort of gives a rough sort of thing because everything's the same. But I, I yeah, I'm not, not particularly impressed, sir. I was staggered when I saw the stats on that over seven days. Um, I mean, it was bad enough that he'd gone from 53 grand to 43 grand in three months. But to then drop another three thousand pound in seven days was absolutely—it uh, was something else. Did anyone say negative equity at any point, sir? Oh, I think the the, the term negative equity is, is definitely being discussed. What are you driving today? Uh, Volvo, sir. So, since uh, we did our first video together, you had the C70 Coupe, which, which is, I famously killed a pheasant with, which is, and then ate. Which is dead. Yeah, that's dead completely, as you know. Like the pheasant. Um, yeah. And then you had a 440. 460. Which is 460, which you sold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a dealership in uh, Berkshire at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How come you decided to get rid of that? My lady wife said did not like it. Oh, uh, fair enough. Yeah. So I've had the opposite problem with this diesel that we don't talk about. My lady we wife don't... said that she prefers it over her car. Well, sir, you talk about that on your channel, and oh. I will talk about other things on mine. So what do you think of the Dino Day so far? This is your first time attending. This is Dino Day it number two, I'm glad you're indeed. here. That Astra has had some kind of engine swap or remap because that started off as a standard family one with uh, 123 horsepower. Yeah. It's not got that now. No, it's It's no, got 186 yeah. horsepower. Uh, so either yeah. the engine's been swapped or it's been seriously tuned. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, can a, hear, you can hear there, we're looking at these alloy wheels it's or anything. It's a turbo things. swap, so it's, a, it's got a two litre turbo engine. Yeah, yeah. Which it, it did come in those cars. Yeah, it did, yeah, that's but it's right. It's nice to see because he's not long built it and um, he was hoping for 220 and he pulled 218. So well, that's what's nice about this. What was the 186? Um, figure then that was at the wheels so you've got two different oh, you've got a crack with crank two different figures so you've got a figure at the engine effectively yeah the crank yeah the flywheel yeah and um, then you've got a figure that comes out at the at the wheels so two different two different numbers yeah i'll have to uh, i'll have to ask them i'll have to ask them about numbers so yeah you're quite right it was about 220 i think it was like maybe 218 if you're talking bhp and about yeah. 220 on ps yeah obviously we're looking for the bhp figures really today because that's what that shows i yeah. think now so, your volvo then i assume it's not a diesel because you don't buy diesels so did you not read the information i put in which I put in the form last night for you i'm asking for your video so your viewers know of course oh, right. I read the form. yes you did sir because you were a diligent person i am all my spreadsheets are always correct everybody knows this yes sir spreadsheets are a useful thing um it's, the manufacturer said it was 167. It's the 2.4 non-turbo white block. They did make a 138 as well, but that wasn't in our market. The 2.4 white blocks S40s are very rare. They didn't make them until the end. They only made them, I think, on the pre-facelift cars. And this is the pre-facelift. Probably as well an extremely sensible buy because that is sort of the last of the cars that will... That car would last forever if you look after it. Well, I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? It would just, it would just go on and on and on. It's a Volvo Owners Club um, member-owned car. Uh, the previous I've got it in 2015. Yeah. And he it was a mechanic. Like he put nitrogen in the tyres and things like that. Oh really? Like he's really, really careful with it. Um, it's, it's, it's uh, not really run in really. It's only done 107,000 miles. Yeah. It's not really run in yet, sir. So we would expect that car to do pretty much what it did. For I, the I think because it's a Volvo, and that's what Volvo did. Yeah, in. I think I think it will probably do about one six five. I don't know. Is it a Ford Focus underneath? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you've got a Ford Focus platform with the Volvo engine. It's 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 a modified Focus platform. The C thirty 
the platform's really similar, but this is stretched. Like the C70 Mark yeah. II and the V50 is actually stretched. Yeah. The way you can actually tell, and this is what Mr. Coleman says, is that the C30 actually rusts. S40 Mark II, C70 Mark II, V50 do not rust. I've never seen, I've never seen a rusty one of those. I've, I've not yet had a C30, but I'm, I'm beginning to want yeah. to scratch that itch. Yeah, well, there's a, a, one for sale, sir. I filmed it uh, at the same dealership in Berkshire I mentioned. There's one for sale right there. I will have a look, on, it's, the, I will uh, have a look on the website. Yes, sir. And I also filmed a nice video of it. I, I, I've been enjoying what I do, I do watch your videos. Uh, your subscriber base is climbing nicely. Uh, so it's not it's not climbing quite as nicely as yours, Mr. Hunter. Mine has been a little bit stressed. Your, your has. Um, let's put it we've this had way. some growth in the last yes, twelve months. In we've the last had, we've, we've had a little bit of growth since I filmed your 850 or the black 850 that you had. Um, when was that? That was I feel that like was you were no, filming. That was really November 22. November. I, I, I am because otherwise the audio doesn't pick was up. It November? I thought it was the start of this year. No, 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 year? November 22. Oh, no, it was because I did that car for the for the, yes, uh, yes. For the show. Yes, sir. So I think I was on about eight or nine. You, you, you were you were you were below the number I had, whatever the number it was. Yeah. And then you had a couple of very successful videos, sir, on some topics. Which are dear to my heart, such as yeah, the London we, Ultra Low Emission that, Zone. That's it. It was the it was the yes. ULES and talking yes. sense about the ULES. And then now what I do is I talk sense about other stuff. And people like to see me sit in my car and take an article and go, here's all the reasons why this is a load of rubbish and explain it to them. A very successful format, sir, because that cost you virtually nothing to film. Well there is that. Yes, um, it's so a successful way to run a channel, sir. It's, it, it's working and I enjoy making videos, although what frustrates me is all of the subjects that I cover are really bleak. So as much as it's fun to be able to say, oh look, isn't the channel growing, aren't I having a nice time doing this, I still think we're screwed. Yeah, well sir. It's um, difficult, isn't it? Uh, the, the world isn't getting any better. It's, it's one of these things, I mean, I, would you agree sir, that the videos that you actually want to make don't necessarily do as for ones that you sort of don't want oh, to but, but but no yeah. you have to absolutely the videos the that way i want to be making is car stuff and road trips and to some degree stuff like the dino day but that's not what people watch what people want to see me do now is make videos in my car yes talking about stuff and i enjoy I don't get me wrong I, I i would not if i didn't enjoy it i wouldn't do it i'm not I, you know it's not about getting views it's not about making money often it's about i need to tell people about this so that's where the, found, the, the founding of the channel is. But the stuff I really enjoy is making road trip videos. So it's been nice to make the John and Groats videos and have them be successful because that's the first time I've done car road trip videos that have got the views to justify the spend. Because you know about this, about how much money you put into making a video to then watch it make no money back. Oh, oh, it's just the way that it is, sir. It is. And anyway, I... I, I uh... I'm afraid I'm gonna have, I've, have to cut, I have to cut this slightly short because we need to actually talk about the things that are here today. Obviously, your channel is an acquired taste, and people uh, people are aware of that. But the thing is, it is it is also a sort of model at the moment of how to make a successful channel. Well, not everybody within the car world likes Jeff Vice cars, but I don't like everybody in the car world, so I'm okay I with that. I think that's this is this is it, Mr. Hunter. You know, I, I don't agree with everything that you say. You don't agree with everything that I say. But it's fine, because there's space on a platform like YouTube there is, for yeah. everybody. Yeah. And as long as we can just say, well, if you don't like the video, you don't have to watch it. 100%, 100%. And also 100%, well, isn't it? Yeah. For, for the haters who are saying things like, you should be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, you should have done it this way, you shouldn't have done it that way. Go and spend three years building your own channel Build up a trusted following of people that want to watch you and do it yourself. It's exactly, I say that to people, it's like, well, if you don't like the video, why don't you go and make your own? Yeah, 100%. And there's far too many people who are quite happy to sit there on the comments and knock what we do and how we do it. And all you can really say is, okay, fine, go and do your own. Yeah, do it, but, but, you know, where's your video? Yeah, where's your video? It? Exactly. And it gets frustrating, doesn't it? The comments can yeah. really drag you down. Ex um, exactly. I'm but quite lucky, a lot of my followers are, are on my side and they're really nice, but. Looking yeah, at, you um, get you 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 because of the size that you are now. You're about ten times bigger than you were a year ago. Yeah, you're about ten times bigger. You, I'm not ten times, but I've definitely no, 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 not in not in that respect. Well, I, I've sir. put on some weight. I, I'll give you that. No, no, well, not really, sir. I mean, uh, you know, uh, this isn't a channel for discussing dietary uh, sort of issues, is it? Not, not, not really. But um, 
it's 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 more to do with the fact that the, the bigger you grow, the more you get people who don't like you. Yeah, and there's yeah. There's, there's lots of there's lots of scrutiny on you. Um, yeah. And I get I think people forget that although I've got a few followers now, it's getting a bit noisy. It although is. I've got a few followers. It's still just me in my car with an iPhone, and that has never changed. So I find it strange when I go somewhere and someone says, "Oh, it's Jeff buys cars." I'm like, "How do you know me?" And I forget that like yeah, you some got, of my videos of like what do you want, 85, 5 subscribers or something? 91 and a 91. bit. 91. But I I forget that it, the channel is yeah, now you're, that big. Yeah, you, you, you think you're still like you're talking about eight, football nine. stadiums full of people yeah, watching yeah, yeah, these yeah, videos. Yeah. It's madness. Well, it's it's more than it's more than that because obviously you've got 91 and a half thousand subscribers, but your videos. have some of them have had hundreds and thousands of views. So the biggest one has done 976,000. 976,000 people watching, watching me sat in my car with yeah, an wait, iPhone. Yeah, you just, when you just kind of with the mount on the windscreen in the phone, just sort of talking. Yeah. That was it, wasn't it? I mean, I, obviously, I haven't I, changed my phone. I still don't own a yeah. microphone. The thing, the thing is, is that a lot of it, uh, what, what you do. It's due to the editing that you do, which is better than some I do. Which is still done on iMovie, which is a free program. Yeah, but you can, I mean, look at this. I mean, you can see this thing I'm filming on. Yeah. I've had this four years. I bought it second hand four years ago. Yeah. And it still works, which is why I've got it. But there's a it's lesson terrible. in this, which is it's about the content and it's about what you're putting out. Because I've yep. put, I've put videos out, and one of my most popular videos, I watch it back, and the lighting is so bad, the camera angle's terrible. The sunshine coming through the car and it's... Is the audio awful. terrible as well? And the audio wasn't... No, I think the audio was okay. But, of all the videos I've put out, if I'm editing it thinking this sounds terrible, no one ever comments saying, because it's about the content, it's not about the quality. And my advice to anyone starting out would be just, just get cracking. I think, now, the audio's going to be terrible on this video because of that, but there's nothing we can well, do it, about it. Well, it will be, but the thing, the thing I would say is when I started out, which was before you did, uh, five years ago, I thought we needed to have the best quality kind of camera kit and, you know, yeah. make someone to do it. And obviously I've got Mr. Franks and sometimes he still makes videos, but it's incredibly expensive to do that. And time and consuming. What, what, what you notice as well with his early ones is that the presentation is really poor. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you've got kind of, you know, the best editor and, you, and you know, he's got very good equipment and he has fluid head tripods and DSLRs and things like that. If you can't present the video and people don't like you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter. What you have to do is sort of, as you say, you have to be sort of consistent and sort of talk about things that people want to know about. But this is where you've got um, media companies now starting up and launching big money channels with big famous names. They're well known. They've got the finance to produce excellent videos, but they don't get the views because you've got to be the right sort of person doing it honestly. And I think that's what people like about my channel. It is just honest. It is just me sat in the car, and usually I'm talking for the I'm, I'm, I'm talking for the layman. I'm talking for the average Joe. So I'm basically just taking an article and saying, right, here's all the reasons why it's a load of rubbish. This is connected to this. This is connected to this. These people are really bad, and they're involved. So that's why we should be wary about it. You know, people quite like just being told what's going on. There's a lot of strange stuff going on in the world, and I think it's important that we expose it. But essentially, it's a car channel. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's certainly. It's trying to continue to be a car channel. Trying to continue to be. I've launched a second channel now. Yes, um, Cars Jeff buys. Which I've not done much on that lately, but um, I, I have seen it, sir. The problem is, if you type that into the YouTube search bar, yeah, I've copped up with it, the name. It, it, it's impossible to find it. I know. You right? have to put it in quote marks because it just yeah. comes up with all the, the videos on your yeah. main channel. So I need a new name for my second Yes, channel. I know. This yeah. is this is this is the problem. Yeah. Are you attending the NEC this year? I assume you are. Your hotel is booked. You'll be filming 15, 20 videos? Last year, sir, it was 22. Was it? Um, yes. That's a bit of a problem. Because it means the whole channel gets locked up for 18 to 20 days. Yeah. With the same thing. But people like it. it is, generally, that's the most yeah. popular time of year for views on my channel. Yeah. And that's just the way that it is. And people, if people don't like it, they don't have to watch it, sir. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So I, I'm, I, I will be there on the Friday. I am hoping to display the Renault. I don't at the moment know whether it's going to be there under its own steam or on a trailer, but the Renault should be on display. Excellent, sir. Well, we'd have to cut the short here because I actually need to go in there and uh, yeah, you carry on talk the film about there, what we'll we're get back to the, back to the day. Right on. Thank you, sir. <laughs>